Welcome to Mac Rack's presentation on how to anchor pallet racks. So sometimes one bolt can make all the difference in your warehousing system. This one bolt, according to studies, can make or break your warehouse system. It can turn you into a collapse or it can keep you running and save you from disaster. So recently we heard about a Boeing Airlines that had one little bolt on a door that was out of place, caused the, the door to fly out midair and then the planes to be grounded, Boeing losing thousands of dollars worth of business, billions of dollars worth of business, and um, many airlines having to ground those aircraft until proper inspections were done on that one bolt. So this is the lesson. That one bolt, very important. Pay attention to every single detail of your warehouse racking system, and this is one of the details we're gonna be talking about here with your how to, how to anchor pallet rack system. So let's dive into this. Like I said, one bolt could lead to catastrophic failure within your warehouse. So we took a look at research from three structural engineers that um, did a study in a university about the importance of anchors with uh, the warehouse racking system. And they did a forensic study on several collapses and they found that these collapses, one of the major contributing factor was improperly or not installed at all anchor bolts. You had a 67% chance of catastrophic failure without with the failure to properly install anchor bolts. So it's kind of like the seat belt in a car. The accident that comes without a seat belt is going to cause ca catastrophic damage in your warehouse. So these tiny bolts at the bottom of your warehouse racking system are critical for the overall success according to this major uh, university study. So they also did uh, studies within computer uh, manipulation or computer simulation rather and they found that those computer simulations proved out the same facts that the anchor bolts were critical for the overall racking system strength. So there's two different way that we check and rate the loads that uh, you can expect to see on these anchor bolts within your system. All right, so one of the things that we're talking about here is tension. Now, tension is the force pulling up on that anchor bolt. So whether it's force that's from a seismic event where the floor is pulling away from the anchor plate, and so there's gonna be tension on that. The other way that you're gonna have tension is horizontally racking of that anchor plate back and forth. So when it tilts this way, it's gonna put pressure on this side of the plate and have a tendency to pull up that anchor. Um, so that could be either on the horizontal plane or it could be on the vertical plane. Now keep in mind, the damage that can be done here is not way down at the bottom, but the greater damage can be done way up at the top of a racking system. So when your uh, forklifts are way up high and they're straining, and a lot of times the, the driver can't see where the beam is, and there's impact there on that beam, that kind of side to side motion, whether it's this way or, or vertically um, back and forth, that's gonna put strain on your anchor bolts. So that's called tension. That's the first force that we're concerned about here with the anchor bolt. The second one is called shear force. Now shear force is when we have more of a direct impact into the bottom of your column where your anchor bolts are. And that will be concerned with, um, that'll be done by a, a forklift with the forks of a forklift striking directly at, at, at an anchor plate at, at this kind of an angle, a sharp angle, and the shear force is horizontal, and it's kind of like a, um, a pair of cutting pliers there that will just cut that anchor bolt right in half. So those are the two different forces that we're gonna be concerned about, the tension and the shear forces, again, on these anchor bolt systems. So we provide this steel grade chart here of what to expect, and you can look on our website, macrack.com, for our how to install anchor plates article and you can you can dive into the tension and shear chart to get specifics about what kind of PSIs and pressures they can expect. So briefly what you want to do in a nutshell is you want to have an anchor bolt that can generally take 2.5 times more pressure, impact pressure, whether that's uh, shear or the tension strength or the tension pressure than the operational design of that anchor. If your racking system is 
is designed to handle up to 10,000 PSI, so 2.5 times more than that would be 25,000 PSI. So you don't want it to be exactly measured to what your tolerances are. You want it to be more robust than that by 2.5 times for good engineering standards. So there are three different types of anchors that can be used. And we're gonna dive a little bit into which, which one we think at MacRack you should be using. So let's introduce these three different types. First, you have your concrete screws, which basically are, like they say, threaded screws. As you can see here, they have threads that cut into the concrete itself. And these are not the top recommended screw from MacRack because a lot of times you can put them in and you can take them out carefully, but a lot of times you're gonna have that, that, that hole is gonna be damaged by those threads going in and out because of the brittle nature of the concrete. So you're not gonna also have the maximum amount of tension strength that you would as, as some of the other options that you have. So we don't recommend concrete screws in most of our installations and repairs. And then you have your strike anchors, which have this sleeve and wedge at the bottom, and you strike the top of, of that uh, anchor with, with a blow from a mallet or a hammer. It has some threaded pieces on the top that you can attach the uh, anchor plate to. Again, we don't recommend this because it, again, becomes difficult to reinstall if damage happens to it. If it becomes loosened, you can attempt to re-tap it down and re-tighten it. But uh, again, this doesn't have the, the staying power and the strength. So this is the type of anchor that Mac Rec recommends, which is a wedge bolt. Now here you see a seven inch and you see a five inch version of that. And you can see the concomitant increase in diameter of the overall um, thickness, I guess, of, of the anchor bolt as well. We typically at MacRack use a seven inch anchor bolt because uh, it provides three times the strength of a five inch for various reasons that we'll get into. Now, why are wedge bolts so effective? So wedge bolts hit the sweet spot for installation and reinstallation. One of the reasons is that this wedge mechanism is driven by the entire shaft of this bolt and nut mechanism here. So as you increase the, the strength on this and decrease uh, the length of this, it will cause the wedge to expand. And that is, we're capable of reinstalling that if it slightly comes out of, um, out of the hole due to various reasons. It can be reset into the hole and it also provides the maximum amount of strength that you can get out of any of these three options. So because it's not gonna damage your uh, hole, if it gets pulled out a little bit, it's easy to reinstall. So that's some of the critical reasons why we think uh, this kind of anchor bolt is the, the far superior option. They're, they're called wedge bolts, and uh, we are looking at a seven inch, three and a quarter inch diameter for most of our installations for Mac Rack. Uh, products except for our front line which is our lightest duty uh, racking system we use the five inch for those who are not doing massive amounts of weights on the racking system okay so let's talk a little bit about the anchor holes now one of the problems with a with a repair is you see here this is a Mac rack repair plate and it looks a little bit different than your standard repair plate. This is where the column is and this is actually behind the column. So if this is your column and this is your aisle, it's back behind it. And now why does Mac rack do that? Mac rack does this because we want to provide a sort of a clean slate as you, as it were to find some, some concrete that hasn't been damaged. If it's been damaged in the front, that concrete could be cracked. Those holes are not reusable and we don't recommend you reusing a hole, particularly if you see any cracks or damage to that concrete. Um, the strength of that tension strength is gonna be uh, exceedingly compromised. So that's why MacRec provides a foot plate that, that brings the holes back behind there because you're never going to be able to repair that concrete to its original state. So we have four different hole options and you need to consult your engineering systems and the Mac rack engineering specifications you have for your repair part. And typically you're gonna put at least one or two bolts in here. You're not gonna put a bolt in all four of these because um, they would be conflicting within the concrete. So, but we give you lots of options for different places in case you hit a rebar or there's some sort of a seam in the concrete right there so that you have different options. And we also use one of the thickest anchor plates in the industry. 
Now, these are more typical OEM plates. Uh, so these are the standard base plates that you see here that uh, typically will either have them to the rear or slightly to the side. Um, and you'll put one or two anchor bolts in the back. And you can see these are typically, they start out installing them with the five inch and we upgrade them with the Mac rack repairs to seven inch. So sometimes you'll see bigger base plates on a seismic, um, in a seismic area because the specifications call for bigger plates with more anchors. And you can consult our article as to how far apart those anchors need to be. And you can also con consult your engineering, your Lark um, engineering papers to make sure that you're installing it correctly. Because as we said in, in the outstart of this video, that according to uh, university studies, these little anchor points are the linchpin to hold your whole system in place because it anchors all of the stability and all of the forces into the concrete, which is this huge solid mass that can hold and withstand the forces uh, that are coming against your racking system. Without that, you're gonna generate even more lateral force because there's nothing holding that, that column in place to keep it from moving further or sliding further, causing more racking and torquing and, and uh, torsions that uh, your racking system were never designed to withstand. That's why these anchor ports are so important uh, on your base plates. Okay, another thing that, that the thicker anchor plate does is it gives it greater shear resistance because that small anchor plate is not gonna be lift it up out of its its moorings as easy. So with a thick plate, it's gonna give it more shear resistance than you might expect. We at MacRec recommend the seven inch and three quarter inch diameter um, wedge anchor as to be our primary anchor for all of our Elite and Advantage pallet rack repair kits. And that's because this has a 10,200 pound resistance force rating which is higher than the five inch by almost three times. And part of that reason is because it's seven inches long. So when it's longer, it's going to be deeper into the concrete than is your shorter anchor, obviously. So in that depth has a, a, a cubing effect on the overall strength because it's pulling from lower within that, that whole concrete system rather than high up into it. So, that high up anchor is, is going to, when that tension force comes, it's going to pull out because it can crack out just the, the top part of that. But if you've got rebar into your system, in your concrete, and it's pulling down from the bottom, it, it cubes the amount of, of tension strength that it takes to pull that, that bolt out of your concrete. So that's why the length and the diameter increase your strength, not just uh, mathematically, but exponentially. So that's why we go with the seven inch anchor as our standard within MacRack. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about embedment depth. This is why we use our longer seven inch um, wedge anchors at MacRack, because when you come down further into the concrete, you're going to have what we show here is a, a greater sort of conical strength that is the area that which provides the strength, the pull-up strength. So you, you can imagine if it's five inches, you've got a cone uh, shape that's gonna be about two inches higher. So your, your concrete strength is much higher. You've got this wedge of concrete that goes out uh, about, probably about 10 inches on either side of that, which is even greater than a five inch. So that gives you a, a cubing of your strength. So it's not just uh, adding a little bit of strength, one and two pounds per every inch. It, it actually cubes the strength. So it becomes far more strong. And particularly if you're getting down below the rebar strength of your concrete, you're getting into an area that's gonna provide far more strength for your anchor um, and for your, your foot plate and for your entire system, particularly with a Mac rack repair with an extra thick uh, Foot plate, it's going to even um, increase your strength even more. So that's why we're so keen on using that seven inch depth for your anchors. Again, you can look at our website to find these kind of performance data from different types of shear and tension strengths of different types of diameters, whether half inch or three quarters, and then your depth size. So your chart here, and you can use that to coordinate that with your overall 
um, engineering specifications that you always must consult before you do any kind of repair or installation that you're putting the right size in for the specifications that's designed for your warehouse. Now we're gonna get into just how exactly do you install this? How does your operator go ahead and do this installation process? Well, you can reinstall a wedge bolt as we mentioned before. If it is popped up, you can tap it back down. You, un you unscrew that nut for at least a quarter inch or more above the uh, foot plate and you re-tap it down to make sure that it's it's set back down at that base and then you can retorque the top of that nut back down to its full strength. That's if for some reason vibrations or you know from from the goings on in the warehouse or over time something just happens. Maybe it wasn't properly installed in the first place and you notice in your inspections that that one of the nuts is up above the surface of the foot plate. So you can attempt a reinstall. Now we're going to look through a video on this subject. So he's using a three quarter inch um, bit that matches the size of the, uh, the anchor that we'll be using. He's using a hammer drill and you can see that he's drilling inside the holes. There's one here and you can't see the other one that he drilled previously behind uh, the column here. So you notice that the uh, he's going to come behind here and clean out all of the extra debris that was left behind by the by the hammer drill. You can see here this is where it was previously anchored out in front, which is a more vulnerable position. And also we don't want to reuse this hole. We want to reposition the anchor bolts to a place behind uh, the rack repair kit so that it's in stronger, undamaged concrete. So that'll increase the tension strength. Now, when he was drilling, he was doing it at 15 degree angles, and that angle is actually stronger than a 90 degree angle. So the next thing you're gonna do, he's got, he's got washers and he's got nuts. So you have to have that pre-installed and threaded onto there so that when you drive it, you're not going to uh, impinge the threading at all. So he impacts that, uh, that whole wedge anchor down until it doesn't move anymore. He gets it all the way down to the bottom of the hole and then he's going to take his, uh, his torque drill and torque it to the proper torque that is specified by the uh, specifications of this particular anchor. So when that's done, you have a perfectly anchored repair kit in concrete that is undamaged with a foot plate that is robust and stronger than the original foot plates nine times out of 10. And then you're gonna see this structure that's ready to go and a repaired structure that you can use and keep your racks functioning and safe for years to come. So the proper installation and the proper functioning of your warehouse is to keep you in good standings with OSHA because OSHA will come in and inspect your racks if there's ever any kind of disaster or injury and they come in and they do a forensic study and they found out that you didn't properly anchor your pallet racks, you could be fined by OSHA even up to $15,000 and heaven forbid there's a uh, some sort of injury or fatality within the circumstances, you could be spending up to $500 to a million dollars in fines and fees from just not properly installing that one little anchor bolt that we talked about. So this is a critical part of your warehouse racking system. Make sure that it's done properly. So that brings us to our end of our presentation of how to install a pallet rack anchor, the one little bolt that's super critical for holding your whole system together. So pay attention to these details as we do here at MacRack. And if you need any repair services or inspection services or an expert to give you a how-to uh, expert advice on how to install or repair your rack, give us a call and look us up at MacRack.com.